Welcome to another video from Guitar School Live. In this video, I'll show you how easy it is to program the stock FCB 1010 to control neural DSP plugins in Cakewalk. Let's get started. To program the FCB 1010, we'll be using an editor since it is the easiest way to program the controller. There are many editors that are both free and for purchase. However, the editor I find the easiest to use is the FCB 1010 Manager by Mountain Utilities. You can find a link to this free editor in the description below. Installation is simple, so there is no need to cover it in this video. When you open the editor, you'll be presented with this screen. The first thing you want to do is make sure your MIDI device is connected to the editor. Click the Options button, then MIDI Devices. From here, choose your MIDI device. After that click View, then Presets. This is where you'll program the FCB 1010 to send MIDI messages. Now you are ready to start programming the controller. Setting up the editor to control neural DSP plugins in Cakewalk is quick and easy. Simply select pedal 1 bank 0 and drag to pedal 10. Next click enable and select note. Now go to increment, note, and enter the number 1 as the set number. You'll see the numbers in numerical order from 1 to 10. Next, go to Enable and select Expression A. Repeat for Expression B. Next, click Fix. Expression A. Controller. And enter the number 7. Finally, click Fix. Expression B Controller And enter the number 11 Now you're done setting up the editor Let's transmit the data to the FCB 1010 Now that we have set up the FCB 1010 in the editor We need to send the commands from the editor to the controller in order to transmit the data, we must set up the FCB 1010 to receive it. This is done in three easy steps. First turn the unit off, then hold the down button and turn it back on. Continue holding the down button until the green light on direct select is lit and then release. Next, press the down pedal once to select config. Finally, press the number 7 button to activate the receive mode. Now, you can click the green send data to the FCB 1010 button on the editor. You will get a pop-up notification instructing you to do the three steps we just did. Simply click the OK button and the data will be sent to the controller. The last thing that needs to be done is to save it to the controller. If you do not do this step, the controller will not work. Simply hold the down button until the countdown finishes and the green light goes out. Now your FCB 1010 is ready. Let's move on to programming Cakewalk. To control neural DSP plugins in Cakewalk, we must first set up Cakewalk to receive data from the FCB 1010. To do this, go to Edit and select Preferences. Go to MIDI Device and select your MIDI device. Click Apply and OK. Now Cakewalk will receive data from the controller. Let's now set up Cakewalk. In the track view, add an audio track. Click the plus icon in the FX bin and add your Neural DSP plugin. Click the VST drop down and select Enable MIDI Input. Select Plugin Properties and check Configure as Synth and click OK. Add a MIDI track. 
Select your MIDI device as input and the Neural DSP plugin as output. Now, go to the plugin and select a preset. Right click and select Enable MIDI Learn. Step on pedal 1 on the FCB 1010. You'll see a MIDI icon appear next to the preset name. Right click and select Disable MIDI Learn. Repeat for pedals 2 through 5. Now when you step on pedals 1 through 5, your presets will change. To toggle effects and control knobs, you must move or toggle the control first to activate it before it will MIDI learn. Before we end, if you would like to see more videos like this, hit like, then click the subscribe button and ring the bell so you will be notified when new content is released. From all of us at Guitar School Live, we would like to thank you for watching.